children of the soil, listen to me. Today, we are Simon Peter, year 41 AD, crucified upside down by the Vatican in Rome, St. Peter's Basilica, your hymn today. Today, we are Thomas Beckett of England, year of 1213, freedom fighter. Today, we are William Wallace of Scotland, year 1314. All men die, few men know how to live. Today, we are my eighth great-grandfather, Matisse Kunrat Hustiling of New Amsterdam, New York, year 1641. His family and his properties that he had lawfully negotiated through for property ownership of with the Mohawk Indian tribe seized by militaristic force of King George. Today, we are Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart of Germany, who comprehended these things to such a level, his entire family turned against him, and when he died, he died alone. Only his dog followed the hearse to the cemetery. Year 1762. Today, we are the Mohawk. Today, we're the Chippewa, the Cherokee, the Sioux. Today, we're the Blackfoot, the Flathead, the Mandan, the Cree, and all other natural native children of the land. Today, we are the aborted children of the American nation. And today, we are one. We are one. My voice is yours, and your voice is mine. This information here, all you free thinkers, free lovers, truth seekers, I'm calling to your souls. Use your minds and awaken. Lift up the hands that once hung feeble. Comprehend this information. To keep it simple in wise words from those who have better minds than I. This is the nuts and bolts of what is happening right through that door. Today, they are going to try to use a case number that they fictitiously created on an arrest conducted of my person about a quarter mile from where I stand. I had to cause a series of events where it would occur so I could get inside the system and unleash the cancer of truth and knowledge inside of them. You can't bring Rome down from outside. You gotta go inside and implode it from within. The nuts and bolts right from the top. Your natural name, the way your name is naturally spelled, is the cloak through which your soul is known. And your soul is known in what we call heaven or what we call hell, positive or negative, because the speaking of your name brings to those who hear it the instant image of your value. They hear somebody's name and we instantly know that person cannot be counted on. They're always whatever. They're a liar, they're always late, they're always behind, there's a tainter, or we know that's a person who's there ahead of time and all their ducks are in a row. In other words, your name is the covering of your soul. You are known through your natural name. Your name naturally is evidence of non-fiction. You are the actual primal soil. You were here before Rome because you arise out of the dirt that this black top is laid on. That is a British waterway. It appears as a state highway. You're standing in water and Britain claims to own it. You are, because of non-fiction actual standing, you are the living free person. If you draw air and you're standing up, the letters L-I create an arrow of navigation. Those letters, when they come out of this port, they're a vessel that you have deported from your being. They're going somewhere, and those two letters always stand up. You are the living primes. You are first in time. You are the living soil. The dirt speaks when you speak. You own your own proper name, and you are its eternal trustee. It is solely up to you the value of your natural name. You are charged. No one gets off the hook with the value of that name and it is your hands that create that value. It is your decisions. It is your thought processes. It is your convictions. It is your conscience 
and ultimately it's your spirit that sets the value of your natural name. You are the eternal trustee. Eternal because when the body ceases, we all know the soul goes onward. The soul is not contained in the coffin. Only the body is held there. The soul moves on and the soul is known elsewhere in other places. You are the eternal <coughs> trustee through the universal, <coughs> notice the capital letters, very specifically in places, through universal right to live, right to life, laws of nature. If you are hungry, as I was when I was arrested for foraging for food, go to the Three Forks Ponds, go to the river, go where there is something we call a fish in common language, catch one and eat it. Don't catch them all and leave none for anybody else. Only take from the universe what you need for the time being. It's called sustenance, and there is the true definition of the word sustain. You take what you need. If you need a deer, you go get that deer and screw man seasons. You're not wrapped up under man seasons. You are charged with the universe to be good to each other. And if your health fails, how shall you be good to each other? What you shall you have if you're starving to death? Then you become a drag on the person beside you. And now they have to fend and forage for you when you should have been doing it for yourself. Now. This, the BS, we all know what that means. Now comes the anti-reflection, the mirror called ex post facto law. Now pay attention to the all capitals. Any appearance in all capital letters of your name in all capital letters. Elias, I need to register in the Oath Keepers right now on camera with you. Have you a form? <coughs> I need to do it right now if you have one. Any appearance? in all capital letters of what is not your name. It's going to bear the symbols of treachery and treason and is going to set out to trick you into thinking it's your name. It is not. It is a series of symbols invented, imagined, created with the spoken voice and put down by hand. It is called guilty in mind, guilty in voice, guilty in hand. Hence, folk real. It is the strongest charge that leads to a murder charge that can be laid on the actors that are behind this door behind me. Anywhere in the land, they have shed blood through a novel that will appear in all capital letters in the title of that novel will not be your name, but they want you to believe it. Don't you believe it? You must never, never, never hear me, never claim to own that name. If you claim it, you have committed a capital offense because that all caps name holds an official co uh, copyright from the Crown of Vatican. On those all capital letters, it is registered property. They can buy it, they can sell it, they can insure it, they can do whatever they want to with it. It is not yours. It is a capital offense. When a cop pulls you over, or a fishing game warden pulls you over, or President Obama, the phallic president in the White House, pulls you over and says, give me your identity, you must tell him this is not me. I am not the all capitals appearance on this. This is the evidence of a murder. I am held hostage in a murder situation committed by the state of Montana when it enjoindered itself under this mess in the year of 1889. Gallatin County through the Buck Act of 1941. The bar membership here signed the Bloody Hands Compact in 1941 as a whole. Their intent, they comprehend this and know that under capital offense, Vatican Crown Law, when plagiarism has been committed by any actor who is non-bar certified, their heads can be removed from their body by the Vatican. Hear me flatly, just like Sharia law. I'm telling you the absolute certified fact. This is the standing of the evidence. This is not proof. Proof is what a lawyer and attorney does. Yappity, 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 yap. You call it a court process. It's an exorcism. It's witchcraft and hypnotism. Don't you fall for it. You are the actual primal being. You are the living man.
This craft here is Rome's. Let Rome have it. Render unto Caesar. Render unto the Khazars that which is the Khazars. But if you're alive, you belong to God. When I say God, I mean the universe at large. You belong to each other. You don't have the right to deprive other people around you of your capabilities. You are charged. Each one of us is charged. We have giftings. We have abilities. We are charged with standing one for the other. We are family, and if we are not, we are then indeed dead men. Neither we stand together or the whole thing falls apart, and look what's happened to our country because we've refused to stand together. Stand and remember, you never, ever, ever claim to be that old cap speech. And you must speak it out if you fail to put the officer on notice, to put the judge on notice, to put the lawyer on notice, that you are not this all capital appearance, in your failure to speak that anti-claim out, you will be tendered with guilt and held as if you had claimed that all capital name. That makes you having committed a capital offense. It means your head is in jeopardy, Tim, if you don't deny it. You have to say it's not me. You are not allowed to remain silent. Silence is acquiescence. acquiescence, admission of guilt. Then they will gild your name with their errant's calf gold and try to trot you through their little money maker's church here behind me in what you think is City Hall. This is a lower portion of a Greek cult. It's a Roman temple where worship of the gods is practiced in. I'd hope for a better turnout and other people had other things they wanted to do. I have made an end of speaking, but one thing left to be said. The year of 1664, my great granddad enters into the annals of history the first of 14 times, and he had this final remark to say, damn the king, the devil fetched the king. So say I, what say you? Damn the king. Damn the king. Damn the king. Damn the king. King's devil waiting inside. Yeah. Are you game? Yeah. Yeah. Damn the king. Yeah. Yeah. Have you heard the truth? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now yes. you know how the fraudulent national debt has been created. It is on the all caps throughout commerce, throughout tickets, throughout case numbers. Gallatin County, I have caused them to evidence themselves as being guilty of bilking the Federal Reserve to the tune of a near $400 million per court case with uh, the acceptance of the Federal Reserve in this. Okay, they're knowledgeable. I laid this on Gallup County on 6 September 2013 and gave them 30 days to respond yes or no, and that has been 28 days ago as you're standing here in Roman calendar time, and I have been met with total silence, my last serving of documents upon this batch behind me, that batch in Bozeman. I cited them a uh, ruling of 20 U.S. Supreme Court cases that says any time any member of the judiciary or its actors thereof answer a citizen's complaint, petition, or question with silence, it is known that that judiciary is guilty. Guilt is established. It is not assumed. And Gallatin County, the city commissioners, the county commissioners, all of the bar members are in on this deal. They take the all caps name, they apply a uh, fraudulent commercial value to it, they securitize it, they put it in a bank vault that you think is a jail cell. Then together, they create a notice of debt because this is a federal deceased estate. It's the name of a dead man. That's why if you're not dead, you have to speak. They post notice of debt outstanding as regards this federal estate. It goes through the National Treasury, which has not existed since 29. It goes to the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve C receives this bill from Gallup County, State of Montana, and says, well, glory be, we got a debt. Yay! Turn on the money machines, boys. Let's print some bucks. They print out a paycheck to pay off the debt on their federal estate. When that paycheck comes back to Gallup County, it looks like a promissory note. The city commissioners, county commissioners receive it and put it up for auction. And now you're at the spot in the scriptures where it says, they gambled for his name at the foot of the cross. The soldiers didn't want the bloody shredded rags of Christ. 
there it gambled on the value of your name as you hung on that cross. As he hung on that Greek starles, they gambled for the value of his name. They hedged bets on this, assuming you know nothing about this. Now you know the basis of a hedge fund. If you're a lawyer, I'd run. Okay? This is their fraud. This is the size of it. I have caused Gallatin County in its silence, in its absolute shame silence, to confess that it has been doing this absolutely on a per case basis. 400 million per case. I use the evidence out of Texas. They put the uh, payment for the data up for bid. It circulates around for an estimated 30 days. Everybody bets on it. Here in Vegas, they're betting on it. Somebody wins the high bet, it gets cashed in. They pocket the money after paying 10% tithes to the Brotherhood because that's biblical, don't you know? 10% tithes, okay? And then, uh, guess what? The debt that was fraudulently assigned as securitized and commercialized to the federally deceased, you, that's not you, in the bank vault that you think is a jail cell, was never paid. And they tell you you're still owing, so they send another notice back to the Federal Reserve. Hey, you never paid your debt. The Federal Reserve goes, glory be, we never got the debt paid. Turn the money machine on, boys. Let's make some bucks. And the whole process starts again. Now, turn your thinking caps on. $400 million per case of fraudulent fictional reserve notes that have only your name to back it. There's nothing backs the fraudulent Federal Reserve note. Only your faith. If you believe in it, it lives. If you don't believe in it, it dies. There's nothing back there. They need what is not your name in all capital letters to appear. That's what they need. They need you to think that's you, and it's never you. Never, never, never. Okay? They turn them presses back on, and the whole process recycles again. $400 million per case. How many cases per year? All the way back, let's take it to 1941 through the Buck Act, when Gallup County chartered in as a corporate entity. How many cases? How many trillions are we looking at now? Now, there are 55 other counties in this state. Is the Masonic Brotherhood doing the same thing in every county through their judiciary system? You bet they are. They're all linked together. You bet they are. How many states are there? Puerto Rico made 51 by force, right? Yep. Is it happening there? So. <laughs> <laughs> Is it happening there? Of course. Is it happening on the moon? Well, if they actually got there, what do you think they planted the corporate flag on it for? That's right. If the Martians are on the moon, they're being taxed and run the same way. <laughs> all right? This is it. You must know you are never the security, the surety. You are never the backing. Your natural name is never the bond that ties you to the fictitious old caps ever, ever, ever. And if you think for one second that there is no knowledge of this behind this glass door that's a facade behind me, you're completely wrong. Future court appearances that have been scheduled concerning me in the next 10 days have been erased. Why? Because of fear. I represent the face of truth, and I speak with the voice of the people. The gig is up, baby. The curtains are coming down. It's recorded in history that the veil was rent before, that the veil of blindness be rent today, and you guys do it with your hands. It's only my face, my name, my person today, I get the honor of being the battering ram on the Vatican's gates. Starts right here. Yes. It's you. It's you. Yeah. Each one of you. It's Take your name. It's your hand. person. It's your character. And you stand for your family. You're charged with doing it. You don't get to get out from underneath of it. To that end, you got to study to show yourselves approved. Workmen that do not need to be ashamed. Have you ever been in a boat with somebody who don't know how to row? Well, I have. You know what happens? <laughs> you go in circles. You go in circles. Well, learn to row. This is how you row. All these fraudulent cases, all these commercial enjoinderings. Now you know how the fictitious national debt has grown 
to $262 trillion. Don't let their little numbers throw you off. That's a fog screen. They need you to believe that you have sinned and fallen short of their glory. And that you need their forgiveness and their blessings to be out upon these streets and living your life. They need to be the gods behind the little face of heaven that start at the front of the judge's bench. Bullshit! I tell you, they're the demonic realms. And truly, they are ex-sane. For to be insane, if you know anything, you know that to be insane means you stand in a condition of total saneness. Beware of the Anglo-Saxons, 18 AD. They're the biggest liars on the face of the earth. Don't fall for the English language. Study it and break it apart. You must know who you are, the power, the value of your name, and make no mistake. May I have the floor for a minute? Yes. For those of you who do not understand fully what Ernie is speaking of, let me give you the real world. Go online and search the word QSIP. That is C. U S I P. And then put in the word prison sentence behind it. You will find that when you are assigned that fictitious case number, they take it, they turn it into a QCIP number, which was originally used for the sale of mortgages. They then sell that QCIP on Wall Street. I speak from personal experience, having found 37 companies who bought my false arrest now that it's been dropped it is still out there still out for there. over 1.7 million dollars in QCIP bonds even yeah. though the case was dismissed yeah look it up don't take his word for it that's right don't right. take my word for word. it do yeah. your own research because right. this government is using you as a bond for money it is right. there the proof is real there is no fictitious statements in what he is saying. It is truth. Look That's it right. up. Do your own research, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. That's right. This is how you are used. You can find all of this information through the IRS if you actually have certain access to it. And it will show you exactly how much you are worth. That's right. They issued a QCIP on you when you were born. Your birth yeah, certificate right. comes right. with a QCIP on the back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. QCIP stands yeah. for Commercial Uniform Securities Identification Procedure. Yeah. If you have an old Social Security card, there are a series of red or black numbers on the bottom right hand side on the back. That is your bonding number through the IRS. The numbers on the front are just for a dog and pony show. That's right. The court system knows you are worth money, That's and right. they will sell your QCIP bond on Wall Street. They will make a profit off of you. That's right. Are you a slave? If you are, then go home now. Do not listen to anything this man right. has brought you or that I right. have brought you. If right. you are a free human being, and are tired of this government using you like a slave, stand up, do your That's research, right. end this. Our founding fathers gave us that right That's in the right. Declaration. They said when you are reduced to despotism, it is your right to abolish. That's right. We it celebrate this for 200... Of tyranny. Right there. Here comes we, another sucker. We Excuse celebrate him. this every year. The QCIPs are bundled together, and together they're sold together as what's called derivatives. They magnify the value of your of the slaves. Be nice. You guys know it. You know it, you bastards. Be nice. We must be above them. They are scum. This person is a Folks, these are real. Most of you here already know this, but how do you tell your friends? That's what you need to do. The more that knows about this, the better we are as a nation. Speak loud, can't hear you. We are conditioned in our lives to accept the fear mongering that they hand out so that they have control.
From day one at birth, we are given a birth certificate and a number that is issued that tells them they have the right to own you in capital letters. You are now belonging to them. And under them, they will do to your property what they wish. If you do not stand in front of the court and protest this, and in your silence, if I did not show up, I am guilty. If I do not say that this is an injustice that has happened upon my body to myself, then I am held liable. That's right. And therefore, they have taken the noose and they have hung my persons upon this judicial system and said, I am guilty without say. That's right. Why do you think our founding fathers gave us under the Sixth Amendment in a criminal trial the right to a trial by jury? Why do you think in a civil case they gave us the Seventh Amendment to a trial by jury? Only we can judge each other. That's right. If you allow a court and that black-robed Gestapo agent behind it to actually judge you in any case, then you have violated your own trust. That's Our right. founding right. fathers were specific. It's yeah. repeated. Look up their documents and letters to each other. A trial by jury of your peers, and you have the right to a fully informed jury that started in American history in 1794 and was upheld in Montana in 1906. You have the right to tell the jury, which is the only one who can judge you, that you must judge me based on the evidence and find me guilty or innocent, and you have the right to judge the law that I have been accused of breaking. This is the power of the jury. This is the power of the people, and if you do not spread this word, if you do not tell the people behind the badges and behind the robes, we the people rule, and the jury makes that so, then you are remiss, and you have disgraced everything that the Founding Fathers and every soldier and free American has fought for. If this sounds like a bunch of hoo-ha, please take your butts to China, because I do not want you in my constitutional republic. Get on board with the jury, get on board with freedom, or get the hell out of this nation. Yeah. From the time you were children in school, you learned to write your name, capital letter first, small letters after that. That is, in legal terms, if you go to Black's Law Dictionary, that's called capitis diminutio medius. That means you've lost your familial rights. Competis diminutio maximus is what he's referring to, where they write your name in all capital letters, means you have lost your familial rights and your personal rights. You are reduced to Roman slavery. These are terms that come from the Roman law. You can look these up in Black's Dictionary. If you write your name in all lowercase letters, you are capitis diminutio minimus, means I reserve all my familial and all my personal rights. People, start writing your name, decondition yourself, and write your name in lowercase letters. Establish yourself. Now that you realize that, you know that you're not giving up any of your rights. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have the power to be involved and change this. They tell you that the elections don't matter. They matter greatly. Because if 